Google's 10th I.O. conference has come around, along with a few announcements and launches. Most notably, updates to the company's upcoming mobile operating system, codenamed Android O. One of these updates is picture-in-picture -picture mode which allows apps like YouTube, Netflix, and even Google Maps to be shrunk down, making room for another app to be used alongside it. Some others include updates to autofill, text selection, AI machine learning, and notification dots, which allow notifications to be shown on app logos similar to what iOS has been doing for years. Android O is also expecting updates which impact the speed and security of the OS, like faster boot times, a new wise limit system which prevents apps from draining the battery or taking up resources, and a new service named Google Play Protect, aimed at enhancing app security. A beta version is now available to the public, with the fuller release of the new OS expected later this year. Alongside O, Google is working on Android Go, a modified version of the new OS optimized for entry-level Android devices. Specifically, all devices shipping in 2018 with one gigabyte of RAM or less will have a Go configuration option, with later Android versions expected to undergo the same treatment. Android Go will be focused on minimizing memory, data, and battery usage, mainly aimed at device producers in emerging markets. Google is producing versions of its own apps to help achieve this, along with a customized version of the Google Play Store highlighting third-party apps optimized for the OS, which are required to use less than 10 megabytes of storage and have a useful offline state, as well as an appropriate battery and memory usage. They will also be making an API available to carriers, letting users see their account's usage from within their smartphone settings. The Gmail app for iOS and Android is expecting an update introducing a smart reply feature based on Android's machine learning technology. In some email replies, the app will now display three canned responses based on what it thinks the original message is asking, also allowing users to edit the displayed responses for the sake of accuracy. Generated responses should evolve over time based on how they're used. Android also launched the Google Assistant voice recognition app for the iPhone, which is now available to download and runs on any device capable of running iOS 9.1 or greater. The app is currently restricted just to the United States and works similarly to Siri. Although being able to interpret context within a conversational style query, such as follow-up questions. Google has also revealed a number of updates that will be rolling out to the Google Home connected speaker, such as visual responses, which will use the screens of nearby devices, like an iPhone or Chromecast connected TV, to give an image or video based reply to a question. Another update includes proactive assisting, giving notifications, and important information about events when the device believes the user may need it. Hands-free calling is rolling out within the next few months to U.S. device owners and will allow users to make calls simply by asking Google Assistant to place it, even without the need for a smartphone. Google Home will support Spotify's free music streaming services summer, with SoundCloud and Deezer also said to be on the way. For users who do not use streaming services, Bluetooth support is coming to home devices in the near future. For more news, reviews, and how-tos, check out AppleInsider.com and subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.